Hello everyone, this is Anna from Lexenby Journals. I hope everybody's well today. Uh, we're going to be making a tag using uh, most of it, mostly the B printables. And I have chosen a few here, uh, and I will show you which ones they are. Um, this comes from beautiful B Day mainly, and the beekeeping uh, bundles. So I've cut this one and I have printed it out on a, on a rather small size. I think it was 20% this one. Um, also, I printed out this Mysteries of Beekeeping. Uh, motivational B word tags. Wallpaper gift tags. I like the colors and I printed them in a larger a larger version of 110 and uh, this way I've got a bigger tag. I've got these beautiful day tags here and I've also printed this lovely beehive here. I have also printed these two bees the same size. The size of these bees is 25% and uh, I, I, one of them is done on tracing paper and this is the one I used I just, you know, bought it online and the other one on my normal ivory paper and I will show you why. <laughs> I am using Distress Ink. I will be using this glue which is a smaller size because uh, of the usual large one I have because of the detail I want to have. Uh, my scissors, a uh, crop dial so I can punch uh, the, um, the hole on the tag. I've got my little hole puncher and some of these brads. There is some gold lace for the, um, the tab to, 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 do, to tie on the, on the tab and a couple of little brads which I'm not sure which color I'm going to use yet. <laughs> okay, so also, I've got some thick cardstock, 300 GSM. This is um, 120 GSM, the paper, the ivory paper. This is a thicker one. And uh, that's because I want to back my tab onto it. So I'm going to fussy cut everything first. And I've decided because of the colors, I've decided I'm going to use this... Um, this green one and this one, this green tab, and it's going to create quite a bit of contrast. It's a nice color. I love the green. And um, well, I love green, so. There we go. Beautifully on. Okay, there we are. That's one thing. Um, I will I will glue the tab of the tab onto the thicker cardstock And cut around. I will age it a bit. Okay. 
in the front and around the back although i will be adding images on the back but it doesn't matter I'll give it a bit of a first layer of aging here there it is So, so next thing I'm going to do is I will punch the hole done and I will add my gold lace making a loop pushing it through it's quite a thick one <laughs> but it'll get there There it is. Uh, now it's ready. And I will start decorating it. Now, I am going to cut, fussy cut first my bees. So I have got two of them here and one has been printed on the tracing paper. The other one is printed on the normal ivory. Doing a bit of distressing, aging on the I will set them aside for the moment and cut the rest of my images. And I will also um, use one of these motivational word um, word tags. I am going to use this one. Be positive. I will age them a bit. Thank you. 
Now, I am going to start from the back first um, because I, I just want to finish the back because you'll see the front will have a little bit more detail and I don't want to, um, to crush it while I'm working on the back. So uh, I will create a collage in the back by adding a few images and applying a bit of glue carefully but thoroughly <laughs> and then I will cut it or cut it around the parts that are not needed so I will glue this here I will remove the excess image from the back Here it is. And I will add some other images there. Let's see. Use this one in the front. Okay. Um, I will add this one. around okay I will We'll add the B positive quote there.
Okay, here it is. So I'm going to turn this around and I will add the other parts. So I will add some more images. I, I will put this there. This one up on the top and the side. And here, and I think what I freshly glued that. I will. Do I? Can I? Yes. Pull it up because I like this to show the whole image and I add this one here there and the last part will be to um, add the bees and the way I'm going to do this is by connecting them together one on top of the other like that and I will punch in the middle and add the little brad and I will also punch onto my tag where I want it to go. So I want it to go here. I will put this through. Like that. It's gone underneath. And then it's ready. So the reason why I wanted to do this is because uh, once it's finished, I will just bend a little bit the top tracing, the tracing paper B. And it looks like it's going to fly, <laughs> fly away. And I like the double image underneath. I kind of like it because it kind of gives it a bit of a, it gives it a bit of a, a taking off kind of feel if you know what I mean it feels like it's going to fly away and it's going to flutter so it you see the bottom part you see the top part and it looks like it's fluttering so I will just age a little bit the back and the B <laughs> from where you see it. There it is, a little bit closer. I hope you enjoyed this video and we will be talking again soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.